welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Today on this episode, myself and Mrs. Gideon's Tactical, we're going to get out and do a field test on the Cold Steel Mini AK-47. See how it does both an EDC task as well as some wilderness camp tasks. We're out here on a little camping trip as a family today. Uh, so we're going to see how it performs in all the different ways, both with my perspective and Mrs. Gideon Tactical's perspective. So let's get out there, test this blade. You can see how well this mini AK-47 is just going right through that cardboard, that hollow grind slicing right through it. I mean, it's, it's the cold steel known, you know, nice and sharp, really good. It's just going to cut through man-made materials, cardboard, that type of stuff really well. Here we go with this really nice thick, three-eighths three of an inch thick cord out here in the garage just cutting some you know what you would be doing if you were EDC in this AK-47 you can see again it's cutting really well I have no complaints it's doing a great job just slicing right through there does all those cutting tasks well but just not just it, it just doesn't really connect with me uh, in my hand it just doesn't really feel uh, as good as say the mini recon instead of the, this one being the mini AK-47 the mini recon just feels a lot more comfortable I mean it does it it's not uh, necessarily bad I just don't connect with it in my hand and I know that in comparison to the mini recon this this one just does not feel as comfortable at all when you're EDC in it all right everybody we have here a knife with a blade length of two and three quarters of an inch, inch. It has OS 8A steel with a Teflon coating and it has a hollow grind. And as you can see, I'm very easily just shaving, making shavings out of this. And it just feels really good in my hand and uh, very easy. I could go for a long time and it feels perfect in my hand. What's great about this knife is there's this blank spot here that I can move my hand up and I can get much better control on the knife. And it's just, it's great. With that kind of a drop point, almost reverse tanto design that that tip has on this mini AK-47, it's gonna be a great penetrator. It's really nice, thick, durable. And you can see there, I mean, I'm getting really deep penetration in there. And then with the lockup, with that really deep finger guard right there, I'm no worried about, I'm not worried at all about coming down, you know, and hurting myself, stabbing myself. So if you are looking for a kind of a mini tactical knife, you know, self-defense blade, or you are just going to be doing a lot of stabbing for some reason, uh, you know, this mini AK-47 definitely has the lockup that you would need and the strength in the tip to be able to penetrate well and keep your hand from sliding down and really hurting yourself. All right, let's take a moment here and take a look at the deployment on the Mini AK-47. You have the same kind of platform design that its big brother does in that it has some jimping along the side there on either side, so it is ambidextrous. You see that it's far away from the handle, which is nice, but it's pretty thin. It's got that kind of Emerson hook, so you can pull it out of your pocket without touching the thumb studs at all and deploy the knife. We'll test that out in a second. But uh, you can see how low and close to this blade these uh, this handle platform thumb platform is and uh, you can see I can open it very easily you know if I'm just doing a slow deployment but if I'm trying to flip it open I can do it but I really got to think about what I'm doing and it's so short and low to the blade that it just doesn't operate like a good proper thumb stud so the deployment is very so so it's smooth once you get it going and if you grab it it's great but uh, you know a lot of times you'd miss it or you just kind of have to think about it when you are trying to deploy the mini AK-47 in that format. All right, so we're about to do the kind of Emerson hook deployment that the Mini AK-47 has, but I just want to show you the pocket clip. Nice, strong, very tough pocket clip, but it rides really low, 
in comparison to how high the top of the, so it rides high, excuse me, um, in your pocket. You can see how much is sticking up. It's definitely at least an inch. You got your lanyard hole right there. Uh, and it's, I mean, you can grab it really nice and easy, but the profile is very large. You're gonna definitely see it sticking out of your pocket. And there's definitely a good amount of the handle of the knife sticking out of your pocket. But with that Emerson hook, if you pull it out, you can see there, boom, I just hooked it onto my pocket, that little hook, and then it clicks open your blade as you're pulling it out, you grab it and begin to use it. Then you hit that lockback design, kick it back, close it back in your pocket. So I'm gonna do that one more time, boom. I just whipped it out without touching the thumb studs. I just opened this knife and deployed the blade close it with that lock back, kick it back, boom, one-handed. So it is nice to have that little hook, and I think that's really what it was designed for. And I would definitely say that that is how I would be opening the knife because those that thumb platform just does not work very well if you are just deploying it in a normal format like we've seen, just like this. It's just not as easy as, say, almost any other knife on the market with a thumb stud. Now, as we zoom in on the handle, you can also see that the coating, that Teflon coating on that blade is really pathetic. It's totally worn off with just that stabbing test. But we're going to go ahead and zoom in right here on the handle. It's made out of G10 handle scales, no liners inside, which make it really nice and light at 2.9 ounces, which is great. So under three ounces for a really tough, durable blade, which is really nice. And then that G10, as we know from Cold Steel, is very, very aggressive. It's going to destroy all of your pockets. You know, it's going to it's going to thrash them, regardless of wearing Carhartts, jeans, tactical pants, whatever. Uh, you know, the, that G10 is really, really aggressive. You want to take a file, take off the, the pocket clip, file down that G10 underneath the pocket clip a little bit and that will really help with just the destructive capabilities of that G10 but it gives you awesome traction as we've seen with the stabbing you know that really nice finger guard down in there uh, now the thing is as you've seen with Mrs. Gideon's tactical she has small hands and she loves how it feels in her hand for me I wear large size gloves and uh, it does not feel good in my hand you can see here that basically it has three my three fingers are in those grooves and then my pinky is having to go and rest right there at the butt end of the knife it just doesn't very it, it just doesn't feel very comfortable for me if i choke up that's fine and i can do that detail work like you saw mrs getting tackled doing but for me, for every ED, everyday EDC use, it just does not feel very comfortable in my hand. It's pretty slim, which is nice. It's going to be lightweight, which is good. But for those of you guys with large size glove hands, uh, you're probably not really going to enjoy holding the Mini AK-47. As well as you've seen already, you know, you got the lanyard hole, and then you kind of got that non-lethal pommel that they give you back there that you could, uh, I guess, maybe break out a window or something. I doubt it, but, you know, that's kind of how they're pitching it to you. Um, and basically, it's just that, you know, exact replica of its big brother, just in a smaller size. All right, let's look at the locking me mechanism really quick on the Mini AK-47. It's that lock back triad design. Uh, it's very, very tough. If you've seen our full-size recon review uh, and our AK-47 full-size review, you can definitely baton. I would say that this is definitely one of the strongest lock back designs on the market. Definitely stronger than most Spydercos. You know, it's got that really nice thick piece of steel right there for your liner lock. Then you open it up, deploys. There it is, nice, solid all the way through, and then. Uh, you just click it down, push it in. You can see it pop up right here. Kick your blade down a little bit and close your knife. So it is a very strong lock back design. For some of you, you're gonna hate that. For some of you, you're gonna love it. What I've found is that I can definitely open and close this one-handed because they've made it so nice and smooth down in there with the deployment that I can easily push it in. It'll fall on its own weight. Boom, close it without hurting my hands, which is a really big plus. Uh, that you can deploy it that way with that lockback, very strong lockback design on the Mini AK-47. Two things that I want to note in this review, uh, you know, if you're looking at one of the other of these, if you're watching the Mini Recon knife review, and maybe you're thinking about the Mini AK-47, or if you're watching the Mini AK-47 review and you're thinking about the Mini Recon one, uh, I got to tell you, my personal preference is the Mini Recon one over the Mini AK-47. The main reason is that you get three different blade designs to choose from with the Mini Recon. You get your Tanto, you got your clip point that you see here, or you can get a drop point design, all the same price, whereas with the Mini AK-47, all you get is what you see here, that kind of modified reverse Tanto into a really nice 
kind of swooping belly uh, knife is the only design that you get on the blade with the Mini AK-47, whereas you get three options with the Mini Recon. The other thing is the handle. You can see just how aggressive and kind of jagged the handle is on the Mini AK-47 and just is not comfortable in my hand. Again, the pinky, you know, is just having to ride back here and I just do not like that. It does give you that nice choil and then it feels fine, but if you're not using it and you're just using this format, I don't like it in my large size glove hands. Whereas with the Mini Recon 1, it just fits my hand a lot better it just feels more comfortable just I, I don't know it just it it works better for me with large size hands than the mini AK-47 so I just wanted to throw that in there uh, in these reviews so that you can kind of make a discernment and particularly on your hand size if you have small hands the AK-47 uh, the mini AK-47 or the mini recon will be fine but if you have medium large or extra large size hands you're definitely going to want to go with the mini recon it's just going to be a better fit for you and give you more knife options blade options as well as the thumb stud i forgot about that the thumb stud actuation with the mini recon is great i love it it's a superb thumb stud whereas this platform that the mini ak-47 gives you i just don't enjoy using i don't like doing it so uh, hopefully this has helped you out as we're going through this review all right, everybody, so in conclusion, the Cold Steel Mini AK-47, really, it, I don't really dig it. Uh, it. Mostly because of the thumb platform and how difficult it was for me just to open it and close it, whereas a Recon Mini, a Mini Recon 1 would be a lot better just with a thumb stud. Uh, and then the handle. For my large size hands, it just doesn't fit my hands well, whereas a Mini Recon 1 would. But what do you think about this particular blade? Uh, I had a hard time getting it open with the, the thumb platform, too, but... For my size hands, this was a really good grip and, and I like the so basically in conclusion, if you have really small hands, you're gonna really enjoy using this blade. And if you don't mind the thumb platform or you like that kind of Emerson hook and that's how you, you love your uh, full size AK-47 and you have small hands, this mini AK-47 will be just fine. But for those of you who are kind of looking at that mini range, you know, between the mini Recon 1 and the mini AK-47 uh, and you have big hands like I do, I would say that that is not a home run and I would not recommend it. Uh, for the big handed crowd, little hands, Sure, why not? So, I hope this review has helped you guys out. Thanks for watching. Stay equipped. Stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.